Programming is brought to you in part by Sonoma Market, Glen Ellen Village Market, Body Best Collision Center, Larbray Automotive, Myers Financial, Tina Schoen, Broker Associate, Sotheby's, BuyWine.com, and The Cottage Inn and Spa, located at 310 First Street East in Sonoma, a block from Sonoma's quaint town square. Step into The Cottage Inn and Spa and be transformed by its peaceful setting. For more information, you can call 707-996-0719, or you can visit their website at cottageinnandspa.com. Hello, I'm Rick Love at the Sonoma International Film Festival for our Filmmaker Interview Series here on Sonoma Television, conducting our interviews today at the Cottage Inn and Spa in Sonoma, and I'm very happy to have with us the Duda Man creative team, co-writer and director Claude Green, producer Susan Weinert, and actor Will Britton. So, set in 1980, it's the story of a college student, Jake, who takes to the road and comes across a con man, Smitty, who has just broken out of jail. And it says in the beginning of the trailer, based on a true story, because that was my first question, why 1980 and why Texas? So, speak to the true story. Okay. Based on a true story, something that happened to my co-writer, um, which his wife told me about uh, four or five years ago, uh, when she learned I'd left corporate land and gone to film school. I contacted him and we spoke and gradually pieced everything together and then gradually turned it into a script where we retained the essential relationship between Jake and Smitty uh, and surrounded it with um, melodrama and packs of lies. <laughs> <coughs> and, and Texas because it turned out to be it's where Suzanne was based and um, there were some great locations there. Um, we shot. We always shot within about a mile, sorry, an hour's radius drive of from Austin, and it was very hot, but great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the interesting thing about road movies is when you when you make a road movie, you're moving into it. It's, it's a, a very well established uh, genre, but you're also, from a technical standpoint, taking on so much more work than you would if you were just shooting two cameras in a room like in a room like this so talk a little bit about the the need for the story obviously said it had to be a, a road movie but what that meant in terms of producing the film it just meant that every day we were in a different location sometimes two or three locations and so we had to make sure we would schedule enough time to get everything we needed and also we had to make sure that our car which we established <laughs> a shooting day one uh, did not die on us right. and we there's a credit when you watch the movie for an on-set mechanic because the car literally died halfway through day one <laughs> and we just had to make we had to just keep it going for the next 18 and a half days so that was my big panic every morning was would the car be there <laughs> the car work? and it, it literally did completely die on us but I, I did find someone to buy it at the end of production. So. Tough to do a road movie with a broken down car. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're not going to get very far. Yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, your, your actor playing Schmidt, Glenn Morshower, is a very familiar face from mm. film and television. Uh, interestingly, though, he usually plays the cop or mm -hmm. the military man or the person of authority, but here you have him playing a con man, Smitty. Is that what uh, uh, lured him to the role? I, th I think that is definitely what attracted him to the role. I think, I think he, he liked the fact that it gave him a chance to really show his acting chops. And mm -hmm. I think it's probably fair to say that the character of Smitty, in certain respects, is not dissimilar to Glenn's character anyway. No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> is that fair? In, a, in, in the best ways possible. Yeah. Uh -huh. In the best ways yeah, possible. Absolutely. Yeah. He's always got a trick up his sleeve and a yeah. twinkle in his eye. And he's always got a story. <laughs> always got a story. So, Will, working that closely with someone in, in a confined space for for so long, that's got to have an impact on, I mean, how was the film shot? Was it out of sequence, or were you trying to keep to a sequence? We were out of sequence yeah. for the majority of the time. Yeah, um, so your, your character, depending on whether calendar is, can be in a completely different place in relation to him. Right, right, and that's, uh, that's something that Claude and I definitely had to meet together with every day before the first shot, and just, okay, where are we at today, what's been going on, and and uh, you know, I think we, Clyde, Glenn, and I all did our homework and just sort of made sure we were all in alignment with each with each with each scene to make sure it was gonna gonna stack up when it was all put together. And with so many two-man scenes, is there 
did you get to try different things? Did the schedule allow for that? And yeah. Improvisation? Yeah. We played quite a bit. Yeah, we played quite did. a bit. They did. Yeah, yeah. Glenn's, <laughs> Glenn's a treat to work with. I mean, he's always got something new that he's bringing with each, each take, really. And Claude gave us a lot of freedom. And, and we had lots of little powwows where we go on a walk. So what if we try this? And, oh, yeah, let's try it. Let's see if it works. And it was, it was great. It's everything you want. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and Texas plays a big role in the movie. The, the, the settings are beautiful and beautifully shot. Um, but with, with the idea of the road movie, you, you're dealing with light and you're dealing with weather conditions. So <laughs> it's got to be... Uh, when the car well, doesn't have air conditioning. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And just from a continuity standpoint, where you have one, uh, a 15-minute scene inside a car that may have been shot over four or five days. So uh, how, do, how, does that, how do you make that work? Pray a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we have a good cinematographer. Yeah. We had a brilliant cinematographer. A brilliant cinematographer who stays on top of a great team that, that he had that was just Johnny on the spot with everything we needed. Um, and we moved fast, I think. Yeah. yeah. And also, when you shoot in Texas in July, you're guaranteed no rain. So we knew we'd yeah. never have. We, we'd never have rain. <laughs> we have one, I think we had one day sprinkled for like an hour. And that was yeah. it. When we were shooting in the diner. In the diner, yeah. 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 Thank goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Shooting inside, yeah. Perfect timing. Yeah. All right. And, and the doo-dah man, I know he, uh, he's, uh, you, Smitty is whistling the zippity doo-dah, but the title for that, where did that... It, it, came, uh, it was originally going to be called Interstate, and it lived as Interstate for quite a few years, and then J Jack and I kind of lost interest in it in, in, as a title. And then one day we were just going through stuff, and, and it was, um, we always worked together over Skype. Um, I'm in the UK, he's in, in, he was in Princeton at that point. And I don't quite know how it happened, but we literally both came to the conclusion, we've got this character singing, doodah, doodah, we've got the scene in the gas station mm -hmm. with, the, with the trucking song, and suddenly it's the doodah man again. And we literally at the same time said, that's the title, that's the title. Well, you knew it had to be then. We Maybe just knew it was that. just one of those things. It had to be that, yeah. yeah. The <laughs> film is The Doodah Man. We have director and co-writer Claude Green, actor Will Britton, and producer Susan Weiner. Thanks very much for coming in and talking with us today. Yes, Thank you. you. I'm Rick Love for Sonoma Television, the Sonoma International Film Festival Filmmaker Interview Series. Programming is brought to you in part by Sonoma Market, Glen Ellen Village Market, Body Best Collision Center, Larbray Automotive, Myers Financial, Tina Schoen, Broker Associate, Sotheby's, BuyWine.com, and The Cottage Inn and Spa, located at 310 1st Street East in Sonoma, a block from Sonoma's quaint town square. Step into The Cottage Inn and Spa and be transformed by its peaceful setting. For more information, you can call 707-996-0719, or you can visit their website at cottageinnandspa.com. Hello, I'm Rick Love at the Sonoma International Film Festival for our Filmmaker Interview Series here on Sonoma Television, conducting our interviews today at the Cottage Inn and Spa in Sonoma. And I'm very happy to have with us the Doodah Man creative team, co-writer and director Claude Green, producer Susan Weiner, and actor Will Britton. So, set in 1980, it's the story of a college student, Jake, who takes to the road and comes across a con man, Smitty, who has just broken out of jail. And it says in the beginning of the trailer, based on a true story. I tried to get into the role. I think, I think he, he liked the fact that it gave him a chance to really show his acting chops. And I think it's probably fair to say that the character of Smitty, in certain respects, is not dissimilar to Glenn's character anyway. No. no, no. <laughs> is that fair? In, a, in the best ways possible. Yeah. In the best ways yeah, possible. Absolutely. Yeah. He's always got a trick up his sleeve and a yeah. twinkle in his eye. And he's always got a story. <laughs> always got a story. So, Will, working that closely with someone in, in a confined space for, for so long, that's got to have an impact on, I mean, how was the film shot? Was it out of sequence or were you trying to keep to a sequence? We were out of sequence yeah. for the majority of the time. Yeah, um, so your, your character, depending on whether calendar is, can be in a completely different place in relation to him. Right, right, and that's, uh, that's something that Claude and I definitely had to meet together with every day before the first shot and just, okay, where are we at today, what's been going on, and, and uh, you know, I think we, Claude, Glenn, and I all did our homework and 
just sort of made sure we were all in alignment with each with each with each scene to make sure it was gonna gonna stack up when it was all put together. And with so many two man scenes, is there do you room like in a room like this? So talk a little bit about the the need for the story. Obviously, said it had to be a, a road movie, but what that meant in terms of producing the film. It just meant that every day we were in a different location, sometimes two or three locations. And so we had to make sure we would schedule enough time to get everything we needed. And also, we had to make sure that our car, which we established a shooting day one, uh, did not die on us. Right. And we there's a credit when you watch the movie for an on-set mechanic because... The car literally died halfway through day one, and we just had to make we had to just keep it going for the next eighteen and a half days. So that was my big panic every morning: was would the car be there? <laughs> Will the car work? And it it literally did completely die on us. But I I did find someone to buy it at the end of production. So. Tough to do a road movie with a broken down car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're not going to get very far. Yeah. Uh-huh. So uh, your your actor playing Schmidt, Glenn Morshower, is a very familiar face from mm-hmm. film and television. Interestingly, though, he usually plays the cop or mm-hmm. the military man or the person of authority. But here you have him playing a con man, Smitty. Is that what uh, in, lured him to the role? I th- I think that is definitely what. Because that was my first question: Why 1980 and why Texas? So speak to the true story. Okay, based on a true story, something that happened to my co-writer. Um, which his wife told me about uh, four or five years ago uh, when she learned I'd left corporate land and gone to film school. I contacted him and we spoke and gradually pieced everything together and then gradually turned it into a script where we retained the essential relationship between Jake and Smitty uh, and surrounded it with um, melodrama and packs of lies. (laughs) (laughs) Um, and, and Texas, because it turned out to be where, it's where Suzanne was based, and um, there were some great locations there. Um, we, sh- we always shot within about a mile, sorry, an hour's radius drive of, from Austin. And it was very hot, but great. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the interesting thing about road movies is when you, when you make a road movie, you're moving into it. It's, it's a, a very well-established uh, genre, but you're also, from a technical standpoint, taking on so much more work than you would if you were just shooting two cameras. And a, you get to try different things? Did the schedule allow for that? And, yeah. and improvisation? Yeah, we played quite a bit. Yeah, we played quite did. a bit. They did. Yeah, yeah. Glenn's, <laughs> Glenn's a treat to work with. I mean, he's always got something new that he's bringing with each each take really and Claude gave us a lot of freedom and and we had lots of little powwows where we go on a walk so what if we try this and oh yeah let's try it let's see if it works and it was, it was great it's everything you want mm-hmm. well and, and Texas plays a big role in the movie the, the, the settings are beautiful and beautifully shot um, but with, with the idea of the road movie you, you're dealing with light and you're dealing with weather conditions so <laughs> It's got to be... Uh, when the car yeah. doesn't have air conditioning. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. 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 And just from a continuity standpoint, where you have one, uh, a 15-minute scene inside a car that may have been shot over four or five days, so uh, how, do, how, does that, how do you make that work? Well, you pray a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good cinematographer. Yeah. Yeah, a brilliant cinematographer. A brilliant cinematographer who stays on top of a great team that, that he had that was just Johnny on the spot with everything we needed. Um, and we moved fast, I think. Yeah. yeah. And also, when you shoot in Texas in July, you're guaranteed no rain. So we knew we'd yeah. never have. We, we 